again, friends. Now, I don't know if you know God or not. If you have a living relationship with him today or maybe you just drift in somewhere in between. Most of us, wherever we're at, pray at some point or another. Some people who have no relationship with God will still pray when they're in trouble or when they really need help in a time of great distress. Does God hear their prayer? Yes, he does. Will he answer their prayer? Yes, he will. Now, how God answers that prayer is up to God, for he knows each person's heart and knows what's best for each of us. God is much more generous than any human being, and he alone knows the end from the beginning. However, when we've given our will and our life over to the care of God, we are assured that his eyes always watch over us and his ears are open to all our prayers. Look at these lovely words. The Lord watches over everyone who obeys him and he listens to their prayers. But he opposes everyone who does evil. Ask me, God says, and I will tell you things that you don't know and can't find out. Whether we walk with God for a while or not, we sometimes struggle to do what's right. And so it can be helpful to remember that God knows about the battle and provides a promise for success with a clear strategy for attaining it. What's that strategy? Keep alert and pray. The Bible tells us the sinful self wants what is against the spirit. And the spirit wants what is against the sinful self. They're always fighting against each other so that you don't do what you really want to do. Keep, watch, and pray that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And the Bible teaches us that the evil one is continually looking for ways to destroy us. Only God can keep us safe from Satan's attacks and show us the right way to proceed. Our job? Pray to him and pay attention. Jesus prayed, I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, but I am asking that you keep them safe from the evil one. They don't belong to the world, just as I don't belong to the world. Well, Lord, today we humbly admit to you that we are powerless to overcome temptation without you. We bring our challenging thoughts and circumstances to you. We neither hide them nor avoid them. We ask you for wisdom and guidance. Help us to resist the temptation or even to want to resist. We know you have all power over every kind of temptation. So we're asking you today to help us to stay alert to the work of the evil one who's seeking to destroy us right now, all day, today, and every day. Help us to stand firm on your promises, to keep looking to you and trusting you for all the help we need. We proclaim that you, Lord Jesus, are Lord over everything in heaven and earth. We will have victory through you because you never leave us and will never forsake us. We surrender ourselves to your care. We will walk with you in truth today. You can be trusted to take care of everything else. Amen. Well, God is with us, and as we've said so many times, God is for us. Let's put ourselves in his care all day long, situation by situation, thought by thought, moment by moment, and have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow.